Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another huge cumulative thrift outlet haul. I believe we have just over 50 items, so quite a lot to get through. All of this was sourced at either the Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins, where here in Houston, I paid $2.19 per pound. I also sourced from the Family Thrift Center outlet, where I paid $2.25 per item. So. Each item probably cost me around that $2 mark. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off with shoes and accessories, we just have one hat here. And I was walking to the checkout counter and I just kind of saw this uh, on the counter and threw it in my cart because it's Wilson's a genuine leather hat in a size extra large. I did quickly look up comps just because I've never really sold anything like this and the comps are really good. There were several sold so I wanted to get this. It looked like it was in pretty good shape and I think a lot of them had sold for around 30 to 50 dollars if I'm remembering cor correctly. Just a couple pairs of shoes here. First off, we have Saludos Espadrilles. I have found these and sold these a million times. Uh, they're a pretty quick bread and butter sale in the spring and summertime. Definitely not for a huge amount of money. I would say these will probably sell for around $20. They're a size six and a half, but these were in really good shape, so I did want to grab them. Next, a very exciting pair of shoes. These are Teaks, and they're in really good shape. The Toes are definitely going strong. A lot of teaks show wear at the toes and this back heel here, but these are in fabulous condition and the red leather teaks look like they are still selling really well. Some of the teaks colors have kind of died off, but you know, if you find a certain color that a lot of people are looking for, you know, they can still sell well. I think these were selling for over $100 on the resale market. They're a size 8, and with them being in such good condition, I think they'll probably sell around 125 ish Oh, I do have one personal find that I wanted to throw in. You guys have been asking me a lot about what I thrift for myself, and this is a piece that I was so excited to find for me. It's just from Ann Taylor Loft, but it has a cheese-themed graphic. It's like all these little... Uh, like charcuterie cheese pieces and it says cheese please so I literally eat so much cheese <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things ever and you guys know I like this like mustard color it matches my beanie so I will probably wear that forever many many times I was very I, that was like my favorite find for the day and that was the day that I found those teaks and like a lot of other really good pieces. Okay, next we have four pieces that I'm going to put into a bundle, a 3X bundle. They are they are all sized 3X and I just thought they were all kind of boho and kind of similar styles. So I'll probably just take like a front and back picture of each and then list the entire bundle of four for like probably 45 to 50 dollars. This one, none of the brands really mattered to me. I just picked them up based on style. I thought this was cute. Again, that mustard color I personally really like. And then it has a little tie at the bottom. It's like a boat neck. This is kind of wrinkled. This is one of the few pieces I haven't steamed yet. This is Jones, New York. It's kind of like a tie-dye print, high-low, lightweight kind of rayon blouse. And then lastly is a new tags neutral brown sweater. It has a cable knit design. So yeah, I'm just going to lock these up and throw them into a bundle and see how they do. Okay, we have a dress. I thought this was super cute. I've actually sold this brand once in the past and I think it sold pretty well maybe around that $25 $30 mark how cute is this it has a smocked chest and then uh, kind of what is this like a puff sleeve I guess with a tiered skirt portion and 
and mixed floral prints. So I thought this was adorable, very boho. I would totally wear that myself. Next we have another exciting find. This is Lululemon. It's a cream sweater. I was flipping through the rack. I felt the fabric. It has absolutely no tags at the neck, but I knew that it was Lulu just by the feel of it. And then I did go searching for the brand tag and it's just this very, very, very small little tag at the bottom hem that has the Lulu logo on it. So sometimes you really do have to hunt to find the logo, but it has thumb holes, really nice. I need to look that up. I feel like it's probably like a merino wool or cashmere blend. Next we have ASOS in a size four. So it's the ASOS tag. I do pick this brand up at the bins or you know at the outlet stores if it's a substantial piece. And I thought this was really cute. It has like a square neckline and then floral, a floral design at the oversized sleeves. It's fully lined, which is great, 100% cotton. Actually, is it not lined? Maybe it's not lined. Actually, it's not lined, but it, it feels like it is. It's a very like thick cotton, definitely not sheer. Next, we have soft surroundings. I do like to stick to size medium and up in soft surroundings. Most, I most prefer size large, extra large, and up. I love finding plus size in soft surroundings just because it does sell a little bit better within this brand. This, however, is a size petite small, but I just thought it was so pretty. I loved the vibrant floral print. It's a popover, meaning that it buttons just a portion of the way down, not all the way down. It has pockets. It actually has pockets at the hips, which is really nice. And it is that longer length. So I think if this had not been tunic length, I might have left it with its size, but I, it did seem pretty substantial to me. Next, we have a brand that I do like selling, Matilda Jane. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it is pretty reliable, I would say. And again, this is a a really nice piece with the midi length and it's great for you know upcoming spring summer you have the contrasting yellow and turquoise floral prints it does sit off shoulder and then the waist is very flattering with elastic we have an anthropology sub brand this is Lilka I thought this was so sweet and feminine. There we go. It's a size extra small, but it is kind of oversized, I would say. It's a paisley printed tunic top with a keyhole closure in front. It ties in front. How pretty is this? Very lightweight, again, an excellent spring summer piece. This haul, I definitely was focused on picking up pieces for the upcoming kind of transitional weather just because a lot of people are, you know, moving from buying cashmere, wool, knits to buying linen and cotton, a lot of breathable natural materials. Okay, next we have J. Crew. This is in a size 14. It's a green gingham print and I thought this just had a, a lot of nice details to it. It has kind of a pin tucked design at the shoulders and then a ruffle around the neckline and with it being a size 14 I thought that was great. The inside tags are cut out but I think it is 100% cotton. Oh this was a cute find. It's a collab piece so Style Mafia collaborating with Free People and this is a 100% linen little mini dress with these oversized silver grommets that hold the straps. How cute is this? You could wear even like a white t-shirt underneath this with like some chunky shoes and that would be a really cute like casual look or you could uh, dress it up with heels and wear it for like a girls night out or a date night. Next we have just a little Lululemon tank top. 
very soft and comfy. It's like a Pima cotton blend. And the bottom half is like a silver metallic. The back is a flyaway. So I think if you want, you can tie the bottom hem to kind of just have like a cutout or you can leave it open for maximum ventilation while you're working out. There's the little logo, Lulu logo, and this did measure like a size medium. Next we have Eileen Fisher. This is a great piece from Eileen Fisher. It's something that I do like to find from the brand. It's plus size 2X, it's in excellent condition, and it's also a wardrobe staple. These are like a crepe pair of slim leg olive green pants, pull on pants. Very comfy, very practical. You could dress these up, dress them down. You could wear these with a t-shirt and sneakers, or you could totally uh, dress them up with like a button down, wear them to the office. Next is Prana, I believe. I was excited to find this. It's kind of different than what I usually find from this brand. See, I just thought this was a really pretty dress. It has a keyhole opening in front with a tie and a mixed print. It's like a abstract floral print through the body and then stripes at the bottom hem and close to the straps. So, and this is a midi length. It has pockets. Just def definitely kind of different for Prana, I would say. I think it's a little bit newer. It's 100% lensing modal. So that means that it's very soft and easy to throw on and go. Speaking of, this is a little Lulu's dress, size extra small. People love their shirt dresses because, you know, it's just one piece. You put it on, you have a whole outfit and you know, you're ready to walk out the door. Again, you could dress this up, dress it down, wear it with sneakers, or you could do like a wedge. This also has pockets. It's a really nice olive green color. Free people. This is called the psychedelic tie-dye turtleneck long sleeve top, size small. How cool is this? Very boho very eye-catching, definitely makes a statement. I think this would be adorable with some like oversized ripped boyfriend jeans. More 100% linen. This is the brand Acrobat. I think this brand is pretty expensive on the retail market, but I'm not sure if it's very, if it has a big presence on the resale market at all. Um, but with it being 100% linen and the cut of it, I did want to get it. A lot of people like this kind of boxy, oversized, relaxed fit with the drop shoulder, high-low hemline. I think this would be so cute with like a black tank layered underneath and then some like ripped skinny jeans. Next we have Chico's. Kind of like with soft surroundings, I do like to stick to size large and up with Chico's, which that would be a Chico size 2. This, however, is a size zero, which is a size small in Chico's. However, you guys know I love to sell cardigans. They do sell very well for me. I loved the neutral colorway to this. It was long line, and I believe it was a good fabric makeup. So I did want to get it. I just really like the like colors and tones in this. Well, 1% wool. So it does have wool in it technically. Next we have a little closet staple piece from Anthropology. This is just their house tag by Anthropology and it is a size small. It's a V-neck sleeveless knit top. Again, this is so good for transitional weather because it is a knit but it is sleeveless so you know you do get a little bit of warmth there it has side vents with a high low hem long line so yeah really cute this i don't think is anything special yeah rayon cotton it is three percent linen and it does have 
a little bit of spandex in it for some stretch. This dress I picked up purely based on style. The brand is Faded Rose. Also based on size, it is a size extra large. It actually reminded me of the Free People bralette that's very lacy. It looks pretty much exactly like this. I forget the name of it. Uh, but yeah, the chest is lacy and then it has this neutral boho print with a ruffle at the bottom hem. So I thought it was well made. These straps are adjustable and it does seem really comfy and cute. So I had to grab it. It will probably sell, I would say 25 to 28 ish. We have Madewell size six. This is a little bit of an older piece from Madewell. I know that because the tag does say 1937 under Madewell, which is an indication that it is just a bit older, but I still wanted to get it because it's 100% silk and it is really well made. Yeah, from fall of 2015. But it's 100% silk. It has all of this really lovely embroidery at the chest. It's flattering with the elastic waist. It also has embroidery at the bottom hem. It's fully lined. Just really pretty little keyhole opening in back. So I don't think this will have any problem selling. More linen. I was not kidding. This is Sigrid Olsen size 1X. So cute, very beachy, very boho. I do have a list of keywords in my notes app that I just copy and paste into anything that I'm listing that resembles something like this, 100% linen, you know, very coastal and beachy. I have like beachy, boho, coastal grandma, lag and look, contemporary, minimalist, and I just copy and paste that list of keywords and put it into my description of anything that I'm listing that resembles this kind of top. So it has a split neck, it's a blue and white striped print, and then you do have these mother of pearl buttons at the bottom hem that I think are so pretty. This is long line and just a really nice piece overall. J. Crew, how fun would this be on a cruise? It's like a tropical print wrap dress and it ties. I believe this is 100% cotton. It's midi length, fully lined, so pretty. This is from J. Crew Factory and it is a size four. I think this was a little bit newer if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 100% cotton. Yeah, from summer of 2020. I loved this top. So this is a piece from Soft Surroundings that I am ecstatic to find. It's a size one X. It has a koi fish novelty print. Whoa, my <laughs> lighting. So it's a button down shirt and has a high low hem and this really cool print to it. Some of the fish have little sequins on them, which is such a cute touch. So yeah, just a fun kind of quirky piece that I think should sell really well. I'm expecting probably like 35 to 38 ish from that. Next, just a little graphic t-shirt here. I hadn't heard of this brand, Bandit brand. But I wanted to pick this up. It's made in USA. I like the graphic. It says on the road again with a really cool rose. It's a very soft, high quality feeling material. I think it's just cotton. And it does have distressed edges. So some fun little extra details in there. I definitely wanted to grab it. It also looked brand new and it's a size extra large. This is the brand Allison, but I did grab it based on multiple reasons. Leopard print and animal prints in general are pretty classic, I would say, timeless. They don't really go out of style and a lot of people really like them, myself included. And so whenever I find a piece that has an animal print, I do always mark that as a sellable factor that kind of elevates the piece a little bit. So it does persuade me to buy something um, just that much more. So this is a button down front 
long line cardigan. It has pockets. It is a linen blend, which is great. It's a size small, no flaws, really cute. Speaking of linen, these are 100%. And I've sold this brand a couple times in the past. It does sell well for me as like a bread and butter kind of brand for Cynthia. Is it focusing? There we go. For Cynthia, and these are size 1X. They are brand new with tags. Beachy, pull-on, elastic, waist, wide leg pants. So again, I will copy and paste that list of keywords into this listing. Uh, minimalist, boho, coastal grandma. These have pockets. I remember last spring and summer, mostly summer, I picked up any pants that I saw with this kind of cut, the wide leg, the pull on with the drawstring, that were 100% linen and they all sold really well for me. I did focus on uh, purely linen pants. Like I wouldn't have purchased those if they were like 100% polyester and they all sold great. So I'm definitely planning on doing that again, uh, gearing up for spring and summer. Next we have a Victoria's Secret 100% silk floral printed little chemise nightgown slip dress. Really cute lace detail at the chest with this embroidered heart and then a kind of a bold rose print throughout with a V cut in back. This is the brand Rails, even though the brand tag is missing at the neck. This is also 100% linen. It has a, a hidden button closure going down and back and also a really fun kind of metallic weave. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, it's like a gold metallic weave throughout. So really cute. You could wear this unbuttoned, open, like I'm wearing this top now, the little tank top. You could wear it over a swimsuit top. It's like a little cover up. Or you could just wear it buttoned with, you know, jean shorts or pants. So I have sold this dress a couple times. I think it might have been originally sold on Amazon, possibly just kind of like a lower end like boutique kind of vibe from this dress. But the reason that I always get it is, well, first off, mainly because it always sells, but it does have a lot of marketable features in my opinion. First off, it's that really soft, stretchy jersey knit. It's a rayon spandex blend. It also is a longer length. This is a maxi length. It has the fun boho tie-dye print, side vents, I think it does have pockets. Maybe it doesn't. Um, no pockets, but that's okay. And yeah, I mean, it just always performs really well. I probably sold it three or four times now. And I can just copy and paste the listing each time. This one is a size medium. Yeah, rayon and spandex. Next, we have a Lucky Brand blouse. And this is in a size 2X, which... That combined with the boho print, I did definitely want to get this. This exact kind of category of top from Lucky Brand sells so quickly for me. Plus size kind of boho tops and cardigans. And yeah, this is like a lightweight rayon, really cute. Has the little keyhole opening at the neckline. More J. Crew Factory, size large. I remember I found this at the bins and I was excited because I, I didn't really find that much that day that I went. This has a smocked chest with a square neckline and then a puff sleeve with this all over really pretty daisy print and it is a midi length. It does have pockets. I think this actually also was a little bit newer. Yeah, spring of 2022. So just one year old here. That should sell really well. Free People. This is like a little slip style trapeze dress with a, it's like a floral bandana print is how I would describe it. Uh, these little dresses from Free People usually do sell pretty quickly for me, not for a lot. 
but people do seem to like them. This has a little bit of lace at the underarm, which is cute. A fun little extra detail. It has a keyhole opening in back. This is from the Intimately Free People line, and it is a size large. It's the tag there. A fun graphic t-shirt. So it says Joy Division at the neck, but this is originally from Torrid. It is the band Joy Division, and it has this all over colorful tie-dye print. Very soft and comfy. It's in a size 4X. I just quickly typed in Torrid and the item number into Google, and this t-shirt popped right up. I just copy and pasted all the info into my listing. Yeah, this is from June of 2021, so also a relatively newer piece. I wonder if this is just cotton. It is so soft. Yeah, 100% cotton. Another dress, Billabong. I have been enjoying picking up this brand. It usually does sell pretty quickly. And honestly, for a decent price point, I would say like 25 to 35-ish dollars. This is an off-shoulder button-down tropical printed midi dress and the buttons do in kind of high so you have like that front leg split how adorable would this be on vacation or on a cruise wear this in hawaii with some wedges a new tags item lane bryant i have been enjoying picking up lane bryant this is their newer tag it looks just a little bit different from the older tag. This originally retailed for $60. It's a size 26, 28, and it's an off-shoulder floral printed blouse top with elastic at the shoulders. These sleeves are unlined, but the body is lined, and it has this like metallic Swiss dot throughout. It's a gold metallic little like Swiss dot. So I think this is really pretty. I love that it was new with tags and also being the newer tag, I had to grab it. I think they do put their, yeah, so this is from November of 2021. Next we have another Chico's piece. This is a size two, so that is equivalent to a size large. How cute is this? It's a earth tone oversized paisley print sweater. And again, this is a great transitional weather piece. It's definitely not like a heavy knit, but it does provide a little bit of warmth. It's a cotton nylon blend. And I think that should sell, I would guess like 32 to 35 ish. A really nice kind of substantial piece here from the brand Eloquy, size 14. I love this color. So it has elastic at the neckline, again with that kind of puff sleeve. It ties at the chest and then it goes into a wide leg jumpsuit with this gorgeous floral embroidery at the bottom hem. The embroidery kind of gives me like Johnny Was vibes. It feels really high quality. The back does have some smocking. And so yeah, I think this is a really pretty piece. I could see this selling for $35 to $40. I'm sure it did retail for around $100, if not a little bit more. Next, we have Plenty by Tracy Reese. I rarely pick this brand up. I'm not sure if I've ever even sold it. I don't think it really commands much on the resale market, but I did really like the just kind of bold floral print on this top, it's a popover. So I thought I could add a lot of keywords in and I figured someone would also really like this print. Uh, you could do a lot with this. You could dress it up, dress it down. It's one of those nice like semi-casual, semi-formal tops that you know you could wear to dinner. If you don't know how dressy the dinner is, you're, that's a pretty safe bet. Okay, next, 525 America. Again, another brand that I don't really ever sell, but this was a size large, and I thought it was just so cute with the oversized tortoiseshell buttons 
and like I said I have been trying to stock up on spring summer items and this is a cotton linen blend so but that being kind of like a wardrobe staple, I think that will do pretty well. Really pretty top from Free People here. It has all of this embroidery at the chest with tassel details, a raw fringe trim, more embroidery at the sleeves and the back. This is in a size medium. And this might actually also be, no, it's just cotton and viscose. So yeah, really pretty. I like that a lot. More leopard print. This is the brand Intro. I do like selling this brand. It's definitely bread and butter, kind of lower tier boutique kind of brand, medium, but it does sell pretty quickly and reliably. So this is a smocked chest with ties at the sleeves and then a tiered skirt section this is midi length leopard print just reiterating it's classic people love it it's boho and this does have a lining so it's pretty well made i would say definitely like 25 to 30 ish on that maybe 28 ish next we have a brand that i recently mentioned i have been enjoying selling and that still rings true. This is XCBI. It's like, what did I say? Contemporary lag and look kind of styles. This is a really fun mixed media tie dye printed long line tunic top. Keyhole opening and back. So let's see the, yeah, the bodice, this section is all soft stretch jersey knit like rayon spandex and then the bottom hem and sleeves are more of a viscose kind of material so yeah i'll definitely add in mixed media as a keyword into that next we have lucky brand in a size extra large kind of like i was mentioning earlier this is a great style piece from lucky brand it's like a an oatmeal colored blouse very boho has kind of like some crochet inserts at the shoulder and chest panel if this were a size small I would have left it but being extra large I did want to get it okay our last couple pieces I think it's only fitting that we end off on more linen these are hundred percent linen they're just the brand Venus but how cool are these? Definitely like a beach vibe. You have the sand and then the water. Uh, once again, I will be copy and pasting my keywords list into these. So cute. They have a drawstring waist, so they are adjustable. They're size medium. So yeah, just the brand Venus, but excellent condition. Really cute. And our very last piece is kind of bread and butter I would say I picked this up based on style and size I want to say yeah 2xl by the brand Audi it's a floral print maxi dress it does button all the way down and I just thought this was cute it has that elastic waist so again it's flattering so yeah that is absolutely everything for this very warm weather focused thrift haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know what your favorite piece was. I'm always interested. Everything should be listed by the time this thrift haul goes up. If you're interested in anything, I will have my Poshmark closet linked down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.